Hey guys, welcome to part two of the War World of Warcraft private servers. And in this, this is World of Warcraft Legacy. And as you just saw, those were really good items for really cheap. But it's not so easy to get gold in this server. In this server, you have to get, you have to do battlegrounds for gold. And every time you win a battleground, you get a certain amount of gold. Every time you lose one, you just have to save that badge up till you lose again. The whole game is around set around these badges, this badge system where if you sell your badges to the the quest giver, he would give you a certain amount of gold, and with those gold, you can buy deadly pieces, armor pieces, whatever you want. But some of the stuff in the the private servers are are tweaked a bit, like the content crate I just laid down. It's really small compared to the regular World of Warcraft, which I'll show you later. Which is really big compared it's like about four times your height and yeah as you see these are the quest this is a quest giver he that big guy over there in the corner he teleports people to the Gorobashi arena several other places where alliance can spawn and in this server everyone all the alliance spawns on one side of the world and all the hordes will spawn on the other side of the world. This is the most populated server, as you can see. There's several people walking around, but there is a lot of uh, a whole bunch of game uh, battlegrounds going on. And yeah, as you can see, you can just get free mana pots. You can get free food, drinks, anything you want for free. But except for the armor and the the weapons, as I said earlier. But I'm just drinking my the pie and I'm gonna I'm about to show you the teleportation to Gurubashi Arena. And the difference between the Gurubashi Arena here and online is that here it's very populated. You can see dead people on the ground. Most of this pop this server is populated by a lot of alliance and the alliance is just taking over this place. And there's barely any horde and when they just when they spawn they just die automatically, like a lot of people just swarm them. And some people dueling in front, and no one. The only reason why I don't like doing Gorobashi is because people will hide up here as uh, rogues. They will hide up on the stairs. They would wait until you just walk across. And as soon as you cross that line, there they can they, they can attack you. You can attack anyone. There's some seats there. They just added, and I just got the queue for War Song. War Song. The queues in the private service are pretty long compared to the world, regular World of Warcraft. They can range up to like five minutes. Up to like 11 minutes sometimes it's ridiculous. Um, the it's a bit choppy because the fraps I put it in high. I just wanted to show you uh, low NPCs what it looks like on high, and it's just like regular battlegrounds. But there is some skills that are broken, like the warriors cannot auto shoot. It's broken. There's several things that are broken in this server. Uh, there's also a glitch with the paladins, the red paladins. I don't know what skill they use, but it doesn't let you back on your mount after you use it. And the person in front of me is like, it has like this ele electricity aura around them. And you get special things for in this server for getting kill streaks, like kill streak of five or kill streak of. It goes all the way up to seventy. I've seen the highest. Then you turn, you morph into like different bosses and stuff. The highest I've ever gotten is thirty, and I'll show you that in a little bit. You turn into this giant guy. It's pretty awesome. But as you can see, the the PvP is pretty normal. And this is a clip of my 30 streak. Actually, I was uh when I used to play this server a lot. I got a 30 streak as a paladin. And I don't know if I'm gonna go back to playing it because there's a lot of glitches and whatnot. And yeah, in the future, I think maybe tomorrow, the day after, I'm gonna make a video of showing you how to get the highest FPS possible on World of Warcraft which is which involves like tweaking and downloading a couple programs such as Game Booster and whatnot and hopefully you guys like those videos uh, please leave requests of what games you want me to review I'll review anything I'll probably download them buy them I don't know hopefully I get some unboxings I've said that before and yeah just stay subscribed and for those of you that were asking about how do I record in-game good quality, I got a registered version of Fraps. And if you guys want, just leave comments. I'll probably post a link on the sidebar of the download link if you guys want the next video. Just let me know and just rate and comment. Alright.
See you later.